had watched Silence of the Lamb several times when many people told me, Don't watch that. It's too scary. It messes with your mind. But I was told of the Spirit to do so. I never really understood why, but I obeyed because I knew I was gathering information for some reason. So I watched it. And then yesterday, I read a news article about a woman who killed her two children and then ate them. And she told the policeman she thought they were pigs. I left the comment on my Facebook page. It was a spirit. <laughs> of course, many will not understand my comment because they do not have discernment that I must obey because I want them to have their eyes open. Now the link to this article is in the box and about everything I'm talking about with you today. Please, please, please look at the links in the box. Now on August the 23rd at 2 a.m. in the morning I was awakened from my sleep and I heard in my spirit, Wake up! Wake up! Look! I was awakened because I heard this screeching prehistoric cartoon bird sound. I don't know how else to explain that in the corner of my room behind my bed. I got up and I looked to find out what this screeching sound was behind my bed. And I could see into the spirit, into a vision, and I saw the end of the movie of The Silence of the Lambs. It was Hannibal. Now, if you've ever seen The Silence of the Lambs, you know this scene. It was Hannibal. He was sitting in first class, and he was eating his lunch or dinner, where he special ordered an order of brains for his lunch. And a little boy was sitting beside him. The little boy asked him what was he having for lunch. And he looks into the eye of the camera, for he knows if he allows him to taste the brains, he will become just like him, because it was bait to him that perverted him and turned him into who he had become. Because it's the bait that perverts the person. And allows the spirit to come in them. Just like all the per perverts that are out there. That puts the nude pictures all over the net. Hoping they will entrap your children. To see them. They put them in places that they don't belong. Not just children. But that's who they're hoping to trap. Hoping your child will trip across them. To get the spirit to come in them, creating them to be another person, just like them, for the rest of their life. Not only on the net, but uh, in groceries, in little convenience stores. They used to put them on the lower shelves, so you would just happen across them. Yeah, right. You know, Playboys, all those sick books, they have spirits attached to them. And now the TV, you can't escape it. It's a spirit. Know this and know that it's true. Now back to the story of the woman eating her own children. You see there are some demented, demonic people out there that have put aborted fetuses in our food. And I wanted to make a video about this a long time ago. But every time I try, I put all of this stuff, all these files, in my computer. I get ready to make the video, and the files would disappear, or my computer would crash, or my computer would get infected 
and I wouldn't be able to make the video. And I don't believe in happenstance. I'm being watched. I'm not crazy. I tell you. They are not going to report the facts in any article or on TV what really happened. So they made this woman out to be crazy. But actually, when I get to the end of this, you'll know what happened. In this vision, I was shown all of this at once in a flash before my eyes. This is a spirit that ended her, entered her just like a child when he sees a porno for the very first time. A spirit will enter them and they cannot stop the desire to see them again. Or just like a killer. The spirit enters them and he wants to kill. He can't stop. The spirit will drive them to kill and kill and kill. Serial killer. That's what's wrong with them. People say, how can they sleep at night? They can't. Because the spirit is driving them mad. It's the same thing. You see these sick, demented people who themselves have these spirits who are driving them this to do this to our food. They have placed these also rodents in our food. Now I have all the documentation for this. I will insert it in the box below. You see you will crave for this and not understand it yourself. And you'll feel sick. But these spirits will take you over in all your senses that you would normally say, I don't want to do this. That's what the silence of the Lamb is telling you. He didn't want to do these things. But the spirit that was inside of him was driving him to do this. They also warned us that they were putting flesh in our foods in the movie way back in 1973 in Sulphur Green. Now this is a movie I personally have not watched myself, but I have clips of the movie in the links in the box below. That's why I want you to look at them so you will understand that I didn't just make all this up, but I was shown this. before and now I'm made very clear to me in this vision messages by the Holy Spirit should not be shrugged off or tossed by the wayside this is why I told you I think it was maybe two years ago could be three years ago to pray over your food and every drop of water that goes in your body. They're not only poisonous, they're feeding us flesh and rodents. Now, you can call me names, you can block me, I don't care. But I'm asking you to open your minds, do your own research, and find out this is true. This is also in fast foods and in your best restaurants. Open your eyes and seek Yahweh's face. And he will show you things that you did not even think of. This, What I'm telling you today is just to drop in the bucket of things that he will show you in your spirit and in your mind. If you know him and allow the Holy Spirit to work for you. Pray over every drop of water or any kind of liquids, fluids that you put in your body. Every vitamin, every, every candy every pill, all the food that you put in your body because they're polluting everything not all brands I'm not I'm not saying it's in every brand but the best of the news I have to bring you today because there are good things this message is that if you are washed in the blood of Jesus Christ and you have a relationship with him this will not affect you for we are told, nothing shall by no means touch you. But if you do not know him, you are swaying back and forth. You are a fence rider. Oh, look out. 
look out. So bad for you. But yet, you still need to read the labels and know what you're putting in your body at all times. Because I've, I've opened your eyes now. You're held accountable. This world is getting more wicked each and every day. We are given an example by Yesu who told us he, he, he blessed his food and he purified his drink. And if you do not read your Bible, his word, and study to show yourself approved, you wouldn't know this. This is a benefit of being in his kingdom. I thank you, Lord, that this there are benefits. There are so many benefits. This is just a few. Lord, I pray that what I have shared today that you have given me would pierce the hearts of many. That your word is sharper than a two-edged sword, Lord, and that you would open their eyes and the windows of their heart, Lord. Your word would go deep. Oh, Lord, draw them unto you this day. Now, this has been Watchman Ruby, and I pray blessings upon you today.